How's it going guys? It's Gruffy, back with another Mortal Kombat 11 Trash Talker video for you guys. I know you guys have been requesting this for a while, and I've had this video for some time. I've just been waiting for the right time to put it together, and now I finally found the time to get it out for you guys. The reason why I've been hesitant with this video is because there's a long backstory with this. And so I'm going to have to explain a little bit of this so you guys get the idea of why there's a beef set with this guy. So we have to go back all the way to 2020. Mortal Kombat's only been out for about a year now. The world is just getting hit with COVID-19, and I am living in Australia. So while I'm living in Australia, I bought a PlayStation, and I was playing Mortal Kombat Combat League, and I ran into this Jade player named Colt the Icon. And I actually was pleasantly surprised and pleased with this Jade player because they didn't zone and they didn't spam. They're just a regular player who just used Jade. Which is fine, that's all great. And after the game, uh, they messaged me saying, GG's, it was a close game. I took the set 2 nothing, but the last uh, round of the last game, we were tied 1-1, and I just barely sneaked away the win to make it to, to win the set. Um, and so we just had a little friendly back and forth. The messages are somewhere on the screen. I'll put it somewhere on here while I'm editing. Um, and so that was that. There was no teabags, no fatalities, just... Friendly match, ended it, and a nice little chat with this guy at the end. I matched up with him a few more times, I beat him those times, and I finally played him again after I moved back to America, which is weird to play Oceanic uh, players while living in America because the, the distance is so far, the connection is usually pretty bad. Yeah, see, there's the uh, Australia, the two Australian flags right there. Um, and when I matched up to them, I hopped on the mic and was like, hey, are you the cult the icon from, you know, Oceana? Um, because I remember you, you're actually a really friendly Jade player. And they're like, oh yeah, that was me. And so we just started talking and everything was as fine as normal. Now flash forward to maybe three, four, uh, probably longer than that, to, to sometime this past year. Maybe even like the end of last year. So like the rest of these Mortal Kombat beef sets... Um, they're all happening on this Facebook page that I'm a part of. And I see someone make a post saying they're the best Jade in the group and that no one could beat them. And then this person, this random person, commented saying, my Jade is unbeatable. I will beat you with my Jade. Um, and during the comments they did the set, the guy did end up winning the set, and he asked why the guy, like, rage quit. Um, so then I was like, oh, well, if they're a pretty good Jade, I want to challenge them, test out my raid, and test out who good I am. So I asked for their PSN for a set, and lo and behold, their name is Colt the Icon. So I was like, oh, yeah, I've beaten your Jade before, I'm Scruffy. I was the American who was living in Australia, blah, blah, blah. And I'll throw some of those comments up around here. And they just started being super toxic for no reason. They're like, no, no one's ever beat me, you're capping, you're lying. Um, if we do a set, I'm going to beat you easy. And so there's a little back and forth. I was like, all right, well then let's get a first to five. I've beaten you three times before. I can do it again. Um, but they got banned from Facebook for something. And when they finally uh, unbanned, could challenge me. They never tagged me in the comments. So I never saw that they were trying to face me in a first to five. Flashback then to last week. I match up in a random King of the Hill. This person's the king. And... Their new gamer tag now is Gemini the Icon. And so in my head, there's two things going on. Either this is Colt the Icon that changed their name, or it's they have a clan, which is the Icon clan. So we got to my set, and here's how this match ended. <laughs> So after this match, you know, I'm not super thrilled about it because I got MK11 out of an easy victory based off a drop combo, which lands 99% of the time. So how I dropped it, I don't know. It's just Mortal Kombat against me. Maybe it's the female hitbox. I don't know. Um, but I was worried about the breakaway, which I don't know why they just used it. Um, 
anyway, so I hopped on the mic, and knowing that this guy was friendly, I, I completely forgot about the Facebook beef. Um, I was like, oh, I, was, I laughed. I was like, oh, wow, Mortal Kombat got let you get away with one there. Hey, GG's. And, I, and then I said, oh, by the way, are you Colt the Icon? Because I know you. And they hopped on their mic and started going, uh, 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 and started making all sorts of noise, interrupting me anytime I tried to talk. And I'm just sitting there confused, like, oh, I'm just asking, like, are you this person? Because I know you then. Or are you part of a clan? Blah, blah, blah. And they hop on their mic after making noise, all that interrupting noise, and saying, you're a scrub, you're trash, I beat you fair and square, that's why you're at the bottom, and I'm the king. And I was like, okay, then that's true, that's how it is. Are you cult the icon? And every time I would ask, it was always, uh, uh, uh. So I'm getting a little irritated and annoyed, but I really don't care that much. So in true King of the Hill fashion, the game lagged out, everyone left the lobby. And this person, Gemini the Icon, took the time to message me then, saying, Yeah, I'm Colt the Icon, and I've never lost you. I always beat you. It's like, no, no, that's not true. Like, I have the screenshot of the PSN message when you're Colt the Icon of you congratulating me on beating you in a game. And trust me, I would remember if I beat you, or if you beat me, seeing you were being so friendly at first. But, again, in these messages, they would start being super toxic. So we decided to go ahead and do a first to five, um, and that's what you guys are about to see here. Um, a little spoiler alert here. I started off for nothing against this guy, only playing Raiden, who's a mid-tier character, and they were only playing high-tier characters. So if they were better than me skill-wise, they easily should have wiped the floor with me. But in reality, they should have gotten swept. And how the game ended, like watching, rewatching the sets, it easily could have been 5 0 or 5 1. Um, the first two games, they, they do get on me. There's one where I didn't realize how far I was from the corner, and like I was that close to getting a combo, but Storm Cell dropped, and uh, they did a wake up fatal blow to took the game. And then in the other one, um, I got them in the corner, they don't have a breakaway, and I'm juggling them, and then my Storm Cell just never came out. Um, you might be able to see that in the match, but like it should have been an easy set. It went on a little bit longer than it should have, just kind of like this background explanation. But anyways, um, you can't really hear them because I didn't wasn't recording at the time because I didn't think this was going to turn into a beef set again. This person was super friendly in the past, but all of a sudden out of nowhere, they got this huge ego and started get, getting really cocky and toxic. And My theory is they joined some of the Oceana tournaments which is just the Australia and New Zealand type players. But in those tournaments, which were like big name tournaments where they're, they're getting streamed, they're on YouTube. If you type the guy's name in, uh, Colt the Icon, you, you'll be able to find these tournaments. From what I'm seeing, they get 3 and 0 every time, and they're not close matches. So it's like, where is this really coming from if you're getting destroyed? Um, yeah, and if you look at the YouTube comments, they've actually been commenting on my videos lately saying, come on, release our set, I want to see our set, I want to see me on your channel. So I think part of it is this guy got an ego and really thinks he's popular or famous for some reason just because people memorize his name. But in all reality, they were just a friendly Jade player and I have a good memory. So I'm going to stop talking here and stop explaining. If you guys got any questions about the beef set or the toxicity behind this guy, feel free to comment it in the comments and I'll try and address it. But I'm going to stop rambling here and I'll let you guys enjoy the set. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Round one. Fight!
Round two, fight! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Round two. Fight!
Jade wins. Round one. Fight! Yeah. 
Jade wins. Round one. Fight! Man, how are you gonna only play broken characters and still lose 5 to 3? And to think, it started for nothing until you had to resort to down one mashing with Jade. 